Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lab we will explore the Puppet Console, and with the help of Puppet Console we will inspect and manage the infrastructure. The console is the web interface for Puppet Enterprise. You can use console to Manage node requests to join the Puppet deployment Assign Puppet classes to nodes and groups Run Puppet on specific groups of nodes View reports and activity graphs Browse and compare resources on your nodes View package and inventory data Manage console users and their access privileges Accepting the console's certificate The console uses an SSL certificate created by your own local Puppet Certificate Authority. Since this authority is specific to your site, web browsers won't know it or trust it, and you'll have to add a security exception in order to access the console. Adding a security exception for the console is safe to do. Your web browser will warn you that the console's identity hasn't been verified by one of the external authorities it knows of, but that doesn't mean it's untrustworthy. Since you or another administrator at your site is in full control of which certificates the Puppet Certificate Authority signs, the authority verifying the site is you. When nodes fetch their configurations from the Puppet Master, they send back inventory data and a report of their run. This information is summarized on the overview page in the console. The overview page displays the most recent run status of each of your nodes so you can quickly find issues and diagnose their causes. You can also use this page to gather essential information about your infrastructure at a glance, such as how many nodes your puppet master is managing, and whether any nodes are unresponsive. The overview page displays the run status of each node following the most recent puppet run. There are 10 possible run statuses. Nodes run in enforcement mode. With failures. This node's last puppet run failed, or puppet encountered an error that prevented it from making changes. The error is usually tied to a particular resource such as a file, managed by Puppet on the node. The node as a whole might still be functioning normally. Alternatively, the problem might be caused by a situation on the Puppet Master, preventing the node's agent from verifying whether the node is compliant. With corrective changes During the last Puppet run, Puppet found inconsistencies between the last applied catalog and this node's configuration, and corrected those inconsistencies to match the catalog. With intentional changes During the last Puppet run, changes to the catalog were successfully applied to the node. Unchanged This node's last Puppet run was successful and it was fully compliant. No changes were necessary. Then we have section to check nodes run in no op mode. With failures. This node's last puppet run in no op mode failed, or puppet encountered an error that prevented it from simulating changes. Would have corrective changes. During the last puppet run, Puppet found inconsistencies between the last applied catalog and this node's configuration, and would have corrected those inconsistencies to match the catalog. Would have intentional changes. During the last puppet run, catalog changes would have been applied to the node. Would be unchanged. This node's last puppet run was successful and the node was fully compliant. No changes would have been necessary. Now let's test it out. I will change the puppet configuration for node1.devops.com to add the no-op mode. And after changes save the file and run puppet agent hyphen to run puppet in noop mode setting.
Once the puppet run will be completed you can check the status of last run on puppet console. And you will find one node running in no op mode with would be unchanged. Now let's remove the no op setting from the puppet configuration file. Save the file and rerun the puppet agent hyphen to get the catalog without no op mode. As a result there is no node running in no op mode showing in console. Next we have section for nodes not reporting. Unresponsive. The node hasn't reported to the puppet master recently. Something might be wrong. The cutoff for considering a node unresponsive defaults to one hour and can be configured. Check the run status table to see the timestamp for the last known puppet run for the node and an indication of whether its last known run was in no op mode. Correct the problem to resume puppet runs on the node. Have no reports. Although puppet server is aware of this node's existence, the node has never submitted a puppet report for one or more of the following reasons. It's a newly commissioned node, it has never come online, or its copy of Puppet is not configured correctly. Note, expired or deactivated nodes are displayed on the overview page for 7 days. To extend the amount of time that you can view or search for these nodes, change the node TTL setting in Puppet DB. Changing this setting affects resources and exported resources. Now let's verify the unresponsive status. To verify just stop the agent on any node or just shut down the node, wait for an hour or so as per your system settings and as a result you will find that node showing an unresponsive state. Filtering nodes on the overview page. You can filter the list of nodes displayed on the overview page by run status and by node fact. If you set a run status filter, and also set a node fact filter, the table takes both filters into account, and shows only those nodes matching both filters. So let's take an example of processor count fact. If we select the processor's count equals to 1 it will result the matching nodes who are having a single processor. And if I select more than 1 it will show the result for servers having more than 1 processors. Now let's check out one more fact, OS family. If OS family is Red Hat, it will show the nodes matching of Red Hat family. Puppet Enterprise includes tools for monitoring the status of core services including the activity, classifier, and role-based access control services, Puppet Server, and Puppet DB. You can monitor these services on the command line, and from within the console. The Puppet Services Status Monitor provides a visual overview of the current state of key services, and can be used to quickly determine whether an unresponsive or restarting service is causing an issue with your deployment. In the console, click Overview. Click Puppet Services Status to open the monitor and you will find all services are running on master node. OK. So in this section we have learned about the overview section of Puppet Console. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.